Well, hello friends. Uh, sorry for the little blurp on the video radar where there were no videos last week. I had a very unhappy teething baby and just, you know, some high family needs stuff and there you go, there was the week. But now I'm back, back from outer space with a whole lot of backpacks. What are we doing here? So I'm gonna kinda do a little emergency backpack series here for you is how I think this is working out. I have way over there, so I got a lot of boxes. Don't look at what's on the table. Look at the stuff over by the fireplace, okay? Got a lot of boxes there in front of the fireplace for about the past, I don't know, year or so. What, what are the days of the week? What are the months of the year? It's September, so a little over a year now, I have been picking away, ordering different things. Besides our move and all we got going here with our little fun hobby hop farm and our projects and our ninth baby project and our get my kidney fixed project and all the things that have been going on, I've slowly been picking away at ordering things that we will need to make each family member their own emergency backpack. Finally, I'm just to the to the space where it's time to put these together. So over in my large family table community membership the other day, I got out all of those boxes and I did a live stream with those ladies and I just showed them everything that I've purchased so far. And I will be showing those items to you in upcoming videos. What that did for me though, is it showed me, I like I did a good, um, yeah, baby steps, get the ball rolling here to get these backpacks made. There's a lot of things that I still needed. So there were a lot of things I found I still needed. I've also, and I will link these videos down below for you, there's some great 72 hour emergency backpacks here on YouTube. My friend Jennifer over on The Family Fudge. Also Kimmy on She's In Her Apron. And also Kristen over with Six Sister Stuff. And then Jordan and Bubba Page, they have a 72 hour emergency backpack video as well. So I watched through all of those and I got some great ideas for just more like Dollar Tree and I got a bunch more ideas also over on do it on a dime she had a video uh, from a couple years ago I believe where she did a lot of add-in things for emergency backpacks from the Dollar Tree so I kind of I watched those videos plus going along with all the things I've already purchased also talking to my friend Karen Morris who wrote the wonderful book A Year Without the Grocery Store that I've mentioned several times. And Karen, say, let's sing Karen's praises now. She's really good about every family member has a backpack. They practice with their backpacks, like if they had to grab their bags and go. Um, She's lived in some natural disaster areas and some areas that have had some riots and such. So she's just really, her home and, and her family are prepared. So I will say though, when you look at things like my table full of stuff and my boxes and all these things I've gathered up, I understand because this is where I've been. It can be overwhelming to think about the project of having an emergency bag with everything every family member would need for 72 hours. So I really have taken the baby steps approach in that for over the past year now, you know, one month it might be get a fresh backpack with lots of little pockets and things for every family member. Another month it might be, I know one month we got hand crank um, flashlights and then also the hand crank and solar powered radios. Another month I got things like tennis balls. Um, I've been slowly getting the mess kits from the camping section at Walmart. So anyway, uh, per my usual, I'm talking too much, but it is, it is a big pile of supplies I have accumulated. Now what I've done for you is I've done an emergency backpack, 72 hour bag checklist that is for you, that is all thought out. Now again, I'm not an expert. This is just based on my video watching and book reading and chatting to friend, basic mama research. I have everything listed out that I have purchased plus some additional ideas. And if you would like my backpack checklist plus a bunch of other ideas on there, it's PDF, you just download it. From me to you, doesn't cost nothing. Be sure to click the first link in the description below. You will get my 72 hour emergency backpack checklist. I will get that right over to you. And so hopefully, you know, I'm like, I would have liked to have had this checklist at the beginning, but now that I'm, I feel like once I show you everything over the next couple videos, I'm probably 80% or so there with what we need. 
So I'm gonna quit gabbing now and show you everything I got today at the Dollar Tree. Then I'm going to show you, let me just give you the table of contents, right? Then I'm gonna show you everything that I got at Walmart and we'll get this train a rolling. But like I said, the work, the thinking is done that has taken me over a year now. First link in the description below, grab your checklist. That'll be helpful for you in picking through, grabbing things when they're on sale, knowing what to get on Amazon and such. Okay, here we go. So there are a lot of items at the Dollar Tree for emergency backpacks. I am just looking here. I wanted to get everybody a notebook and they actually had a pack with two notebooks, two different sizes for a dollar. So I went through and got one of those packs for everybody. And they also had pens. And then the food items, so many food items. And look at this, travel size toiletries. Lots of hand sanitizer, baby wipes, hair brushes. I got the hand warmers. I got a pack of those for everybody in their backpacks. They have different soap there. Piling it all in. Also, now I didn't get any of these items, but look, we've got all kinds of all kinds of helpful tools that someone might need. I did get their, I believe the chicken salad kits while I was there. And there's the different Lysol wipes they have and the antibacterials. I did get a box of these, um, I think they were at least two gallon baggies. Wasn't sure what I was using them for, but I figured I would find something for them. Lots of baby items there personal hygiene items, deodorant. I mean, I just filled that card up. Now, now here I'm at Walmart and I've been slowly collecting a mess kit for every person. They were under $5 each, I believe, or right around there. And I got four earlier in the summer. And then today I got the rest of them that I needed. So Walmart in their camping section, they have a wide variety of items that could be used for emergency backpacks and supplies. And here I'm just showing you some different mess kits that they had. Different options, different little camp cook sets, collapsible water bottle. But again, just look in their camping gear. You'll see lots there. So someone had told me, a couple people have shared actually how they have individual little uh, like cook stoves, little burners in each emergency backpack. I didn't go that far. I got looking at it, got a little confused, thought, okay, I'm not going to do that today. Um, <laughs> but those are there at Walmart. I just want Travis with me to tell me which, which are the right ones to get. And a lot of this is going to make more sense uh, once I put my backpacks together. I hope um, Within these series, we are going to pack the backpacks, and you'll just see how see how they all come together. So, starting down here again, all, this whole table is my local Dollar Tree, and all the goodies here. So I got these. These are two and a half gallon bags. Uh, there's five in each. Of course, they were a dollar a piece. I started last night packing uh, the first like food bag, but I thought it's going to be helpful to have some of these larger bags things coming up that you'll also find on my checklist. Every bag needs to have a change of clothes, a pair of old shoes. There's some things that are not here coming up that I need to do. So these will be support items for all that packing. But here we go. So I got 20 of these two and a half gallon bags. I got, um, you'll see when we get to food, I've got some things like even some hot chocolate. They do have a mess kit that has a cup, but I'm going to try to put one of these cups with a lid and maybe like a red cup in each backpack as well. Of course we had to open these out and try it out. But you need, you know these little like fidget toys that are out now? Well, they're at the Dollar Tree as well. So I got three of these dinosaurs for uh, Daniel, Benjamin, and Amelia. That's the soap that I went with. It was three for a dollar. And then you'll see I got the little washcloths that expand when they're wet. 
So I would like to, in a small baggie, just have the washcloth and the bar of soap box. I got uh, four packs of hair twisties for girls. This pack of combs, I mean, a dollar again, and it was 12, so I thought, okay, everyone can have a comb. Okay, and then I got a whole bunch of these little folding brushes, the brush pops out, and a mirror. I also got everybody a toothbrush, thing of toothpaste, and then I also got these separate little things of toothpaste. I think I had got those first, and then later at the store I found the rest of these, so it won't hurt for them to have an extra tube. Again, it's supposed to be what you need if you have a natural disaster, something unexpected, you have to grab your bags and go. Supposed to have everything you need for up to 72 hours. Um, if you were at a hotel unexpectedly one night, just you, you just hear all kinds of different stories on when something like this would be helpful. So again, before, just with my Amazon stuff, my first swipe through, I didn't even have basic things like toothpaste and toothbrushes. So showing you this first, but I'm glad I got to this point. I'm proud of us. <laughs> I got, uh, so I need to work on the, Tobin's bag. So to start, I just got one pack of baby wipes. I got a thing of trash bags. I figure in everyone's bag, I'm going to pack a trash bag. We got tissues. In one of the videos I watched, it was a good idea. They talked a lot about cleaning supplies. So I got five of these Lysol disinfecting wipes. Now, obviously I have kids um, of all ages, so I'm not going to put this necessarily in the toddler bag, but an older child or an adult, that would go there. Lots of these um, antibacterial wipes. We've got a couple different brands. So hands, face is what it says on here. Um, I just wanted to make sure that everybody had one of these in their bag as well. I'm going to do, we have a first aid kit for every bag, and I'm going to do like some actual medicine in the bag of um, adults and teenagers. So I got some antibiotic ointment. I got four things of liquid skin just for like, you know, band-aid type things. I got Aurigel because again, like my goodness, you would not want to have a toothache and be in the middle of an emergency. Just got this extra thing of band-aids. I figured I would add these into the emergency kits, um, the first aid kits I already have. Four bottles of ibuprofen. We also do things like gift bags and boxes for the homeless and there's a center that we drop off needed items at. So if we end up not needing these in our bags, which I think by my count we may not, I have places I can donate these, but I wanted to just show them to you. So you get eight cotton swabs, tweezers, mini scissors, adhesive bandages, safety pins, and a multifunctional knife. So you got all kinds of tools in there. Probably more like a multi-tool with nail clipper and stuff. Um, One dollar. Okay, then I got this sewing kit and it's got a measuring tape in there and some needles, probably another little pair of scissors. I got a poncho for everybody, but these are kid size ponchos. So I thought that would be something nice. Lots of different uses for the poncho. Here's the small little towels. Um, again, I just thought, actually one of my kids said, hey, you can get those kind of towels that expand. I wanted to do like chapstick, but I also didn't want it to melt. So I thought these little tubs of lip protectant, wide variety of deodorant for all the deodorant people. Um, here's the scissors. These are always good scissors that you can get at Dollar Tree. I got hand warmers. Um, they spread these out nice and, you know, big display of the hand warmers. You can also use them as uh, feet, foot warmers, I believe. So we'll have those in there. I'd rather have some extras for more cold weather because, um, you know, in warmer weather, you just don't need to use it. So I got some packs of candy, and I was going to make the kids each just a small candy pack. I'll tell you what our overall plan is with food, but again, I'm just showing you what I bought at this moment. Um, then we got, hey, authentic casino playing cards, but we do love to play cards. We love some rummy. So hopefully cards for most bags there to add to. So I have, again, I have a box of uh, non-perishable food I got on Amazon for that, but I did fill in more when I got even more ideas um, from Dollar Tree and again at Walmart. So we got some of the chicken salad kits. Now these, of course, they have the Vienna sausages. And at Dollar Tree, a can of Vienna sausages was, you know, a dollar. 
and it was a four ounce can. Well, these are, this is a 10 ounce can of the Vienna Bites for a dollar, and they only had four, but I got them. So I also got 12 cups total of the on the go. Let's see, two, four, six, yes, okay. So I got six, <laughs> I got 18 little cups. That's enough of that. Anyway, that will be added to the food bags, which we will be preparing here. Um, I got everybody a pack of pens. This is again another thing I hadn't thought of, just to have pen and paper in each in each bag. And I think I heard Bubba Page mention just again having pen and paper in each bag. So we got a two pack of notebooks for each one, a pack of pens for each one. Got some hand sanitizer because especially if you're you know don't have running water at that time. Um, in the mess kits that I got, I know these are primarily for children. They do slide in together though let's see here can I do it can I do it and hold my camera I don't think I can can I oh, well I can throw it on the floor that's good there you go now I use that fork haha -ha. anyway um, what's really convenient is the the one utensil that's a spoon at one end fork at the other and also a knife but I got these for the mess kits because again the price was right they were a dollar. So this is everything that I got at Dollar Tree. All the little add-in items I still had not gotten for the bags. Hopefully this helps fill in those gaps now. All right, a little bit of time in between, hey, that was a good burp, in between the Dollar Tree emergency backpack haul. And now I've got the Walmart stuff on the table. We was taking a break. You got your great hair. Just adorable Tobin, nothing to do with preparedness backpacks, but we'll make one for him too. So let me show you what I got at Walmart. You up for this? You ready? Walmart haul time, maybe snuggle time. All righty, so you like this Tobin. You're doing it, good job. He's watching through the camera here. <laughs> okay, so I've been collecting these mess kits from the camping section at Walmart because you get like a little pan, you get a little pot, you get a plate, and you get a cup. I had told uh, my large family table community members, I think I had thought these were under $5, but today they were under six. They were five and some change. Anyway, so I got what they had today. They had four more. I believe that brings me up to nine now. Also, several people have just heard so many good ideas, have mentioned having whistles. So this was a whistle and a compass, and for nothing else, I mean, the kids will think the compass is cool. Uh, I only got five of those. I got some of these because it just seemed like a good emergency preparedness thing to have for the grown-ups. These magnesium bars with strikers. Um, also, so again, going, going along, um, uh, some of the good ideas that I've heard is about having waterproof matches. So these say they're wind and waterproof. Again, those are for grown-ups. Got that other brand there because I bought um, the three boxes they had and, and needed another one. So I got five more. Sorry, my pointing is limited because I'm also baby juggling here. Five more ponchos. I needed a few more. Got everybody a headlamp. And then I've got, and you'll see when I show you everything I've um, already purchased off Amazon. So I have the little tubs of peanut butter. I've never seen these before. And I just thought, man, I mean, I love peanut butter. Most of my kids love peanut butter. So 13 ounces, this is some serious peanut butter dedication. But over 72 hours, you know, we'd be glad to have it. I saw this idea in uh, a couple other videos about the already cooked, the ready rice or the beans that are cooked in the pouches. So, you know, we love fried rice. So I got everybody a pack of fried rice. I mean, you know, in, in an emergency, it doesn't really matter. You can eat it cold. Um, I got the lantern set that's over there. So there's six, they're LED. They do have batteries. And of course, that's something that has to be checked because batteries can go bad um, after sitting there for a year but that's at least six there. I got another box of applesauce pouches and some raisins. And again, in an emergency, um, we're not doing full heavy meals. We're just doing non-perishable food items that we'd be glad to have in an emergency. But I was thinking like little snacky things. So there's a pack of walnuts, almonds, and dried cranberries. So I figured like that and some raisins. Everyone should have, when I'm done, two applesauce pouches now. These little cans of Beanie Weenies, I mean, again, they're like hot dogs and baked beans. 
So again, in an emergency, cold mac and cheese, my kids would totally eat it. No problem, not gonna be able to set that up nice because again, I'm baby juggling. Again, this is where um, I'll get, I'm, I'm gonna weigh the back backpacks down to heavy comments. And you know, very well could be true. I guess worst case scenario, if Mega Mama here, if I pack them too heavy and it was a true emergency, I mean, you could always share with other people. Uh, take some things out what have you but I was looking for things with pop tops I've seen in some videos where they've had like the chef boyardee um, Spaghetti and meatballs and stuff my Walmart only had the macaroni. So anyway, and my baby's touching my camera You can't touch my buttons Anyway, I saw the beef stew and I thought well yeah in an emergency we would pop that top Okay, Tobin. Oh, you have reached that stage. You have reached the stage Look at this, folks. This is Tobin vlogging. And so, and I also thought a can of chicken. I mean, I would just eat that chicken. This is some stuff my family eats anyway. We're actually doing toasted chicken salad sandwiches with our dinner tonight with this same type of chicken. Also, so I have the life straws, a life straw for every family member. Okay, let's see. Can we get Tobin hand? Oh, yeah. Okay, Tobin hand action. I would also like to get everybody one of these Life Straw water bottles with filters. Walmart only had three, but when I go, I'm just going to pick up a couple more every time. Also got these little coffee packs. Just put them in hot water and, you know, desperate mama who needs her coffee, I would do it. I would so do it. So this is my Walmart haul. Also, big shopping like this, big receipts. Don't forget, I mentioned this in another video recently. Just, just got receipts everywhere. It's been a lot of pictures. Download the Fetch Rewards app. It'll be down in the description below as well. You can earn gift cards and all kinds of goodies. I was going to try to scan my Ikea receipt from the other week too and uh, get some rewards for that with Fetch. And there's my Dollar Tree receipt. It just goes on and on and on and on. i scan it. Tobin's enjoying. And you enjoying hanging out with us, Tobin? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So many teeth coming in. So many things going on. Anywho, thank you for watching my emergency preparedness hauls where I got a whole lot of megaton stuff at Dollar Tree. Yes, Tobin, yes. And some other things I need at Walmart. Don't forget to click the first link in the description below and sign up for my emergency preparedness backpack, 72 hour backpack freebie that I have. It's a free PDF download for you and it is my master list that I have now created with everything that I have stocked up on to do 11 emergency preparedness backpacks for my family. Coming up in my next video, I'm gonna show you everything that I ordered and have been saving up from Amazon and we are actually going to only have, all of these are like vacuum sealed in a plastic got a whole bunch of them they're all kinds of little pockets and such and so anyway got a bunch of them we're gonna start filling these and actually putting them together see what else I need other things I know I need to do we're gonna go through kids clothes in Virginia we go through like early October ish so when we go through clothes in October that'll be the perfect time to make sure everyone has an extra pair of shoes and clothing in their backpack but I know in the next video when we put these together it'll help like again right now I, I feel like I'm 80% or so uh, and maybe I said 75% earlier but I feel like we're pretty pretty close to having some decent backpacks ready to go in case of a real life emergency you know let's just uh make them and never and never need them right but better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it as that saying goes i'll let you know where i'm planning to keep them and i also know futuristically i need to do i want to do like a medium-sized tote in my van with emergency supplies yes tobin we have you know like a first aid kit some basic things but not if we we're really like a couple hours from home and needed some good supplies. We wouldn't have that. I know folks who have a backpack at home for everybody and then they have a backpack in the vehicle for everybody. But again, baby steps, it's taken a while for me to get this far and that's okay. So, thank you. We're rolling. See you real soon with another brand new video. Bye-bye.